We just had the largest down day in about two years since June 2020 in regards to the stock market. The stock market was down almost 1,300 points. Uh, that was the Dow and also Bitcoin lost about $3,000 in the span of a couple hours. Why did that happen? I'm going to get into this. But and, and keep in mind that some of the things that I'm about to say, not too many people are talking about. So first, please like and subscribe. Check us down below for our CT Club where we get our trade alerts, portfolio updates, and you can get to see how we are dealing with this bear market. We were actually telling people, hey, maybe it's wise to get some cash on hand uh, right before this, this uh, dump. So we had a CPI data, which is the Consumer Price Index data, which is government inflation. So it's a totally false number. It has nothing to do with reality, literally nothing. It doesn't even include food or fuel. So their, their inflation target was 8.1. That was, that's what was expected. Well, it came out to be 8.3 instead. Horrible, right? Yeah, from 8.5, which it was beforehand, okay? So it dropped from 8.5% to 8.3%, where everybody was expecting 8.1%. Did the market really like deserve to be punished that bad because of this? I don't think so. And here's why. You had BlackRock wanting to get into this space really bad. They, they were late to the, to the party for sure. We all know that. But you know that they are interested in getting in and, and accumulating and offering it uh, Bitcoin trading to their clients as well. So why wouldn't they go ahead and drop the market? Keep in mind, guys, these guys have more money than most people in the world, okay? These people, including Vanguard, pretty much run the world. So when they're wanting to get into the crypto space, they're going to manipulate the prices as well, okay? If you see a 3,000 point drop because CPI data went from 8.5 to 8.3 and not 8.1%, like that's, that's a joke. That's complete overreaction. But you know what? People have panicked. People don't understand that these inflation targets are meaningless. Like the Fed is still printing money. They're still printing currency every day and they're going to continue doing this. So why is the market so freaked out? Well, it's because the market thinks that the Federal Reserve is going to raise interest rates 100 basis points essentially or more. Keep in mind that the Federal Reserve uh, benchmark right now is about 2.5%, okay? And they're going to raise it to 3%. That's what the market's worried about. What is that going to do about inflation that's in the double digits? Absolutely nothing. I mean, look what Volcker did back in the 80s. He rose it from uh, to like 18, 19%. That's how you rate, that's how you target inflation. We know now that the Federal Reserve doesn't give a crap about inflation. It's all fake. There's nothing real about that, okay? Because if they were serious, they would raise it at least to at least to 8.2% overnight. Bring it on. Like if they really want to protect the dollar's value, they're gonna raise interest rates to at least 8.3%. At least. But they're not, and they can't, they cannot raise interest rates that much. They wouldn't be able to service the debt. It, the, and the U.S. is the most indebted nation in the history of the world. How the heck are they going to pay for a rise in interest rates or not? Plus, you have the debt market selling off as well. The 10-year was at like 3.46%, uh, which is pretty big, okay? And the reason why it stopped is because the Fed went in there and injected liquidity in that because nobody wants to hold U.S. debt anymore. You'd have to be nuts to want to hold that stuff. So... This is why the market is freaking out. And what I think is gonna happen is you're gonna have the stock market potentially go down even lower. People are gonna freak out. The Fed is gonna step in as they always do and save the market and create an even bigger bubble, okay? I'm not worried about this at all. Bitcoin is gonna be fine. Crypto is gonna be fine. Uh, it's just we are gonna be going into some very violent times right now. And you have to be prepared. If you want to check us out with our CT Club, you get to see what we are doing with our trade alerts and how we are raising cash and what coins we are buying, okay? There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of opportunities out there. Like if, if you're not taking advantage of the this end of the bear market, which we are at the end of the bear market, whether or not we go a little bit lower, doesn't matter. 
we are near, nearing the end of the bear market within a couple months, okay? So I'd expect fireworks to be displayed during this next bull market. Talk to you soon. Bye.